Oh, so I wonder if they double blinded here. Probably. And since Low is probably going Falcon or Fox, KD3 felt safe picking Kirby. Yeah, Low, that makes Low's sense. Falcon is no slouch, though. No, and it's good at the matchups that are hard. Right? So I think that even though KD3 is Kirby, um, I think Lowe is going to be able to play this pretty yeah, easily. Yeah, like KD3 is nice. not a Kirby player. You know, so it's like he might be able to get some cheesy things. Right. But he's not, you know, he doesn't have the whole, like, range of skills down with Kirby. Yeah. And we saw before, like, Lowe knew that down tilt was coming. He hopped over it and down aired for a shield grip, uh, shield pressure in the grab. Dash attack, according to Boom, pretty good. Yeah, it uh, trades with up tilt, right? Yeah. You know, and Lowe hasn't been able to, uh, wasn't able to edge guard last time. It seemed like he had a pretty simple edge guard. Yeah, he's, Lowe's missed like three solid opportunities to take a stock. The F air. And he just, Low just ate that entire order. I'm sorry, but Kirby has too many options. F air, like even more. Fun. Down air. Falcon kick. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. KD3 was scared. He didn't need the up B. <laughs> he didn't need to. What a baby. What a baby. Low is able to follow that up, uh, maybe wisely. That scenario, KD3. It's, it's scary to uh, to like put yourself at risk of overextending as Falcon against Kirby. Yeah, or even like a sort of tech read situation, right? Like Kirby gets up and you if you miss time it, he's gonna up tilt you. Right. It's just scary. And even like even Kirby get, getting up off the ledge, if he rolls up and you try to put a down air there, your timing isn't impeccable. Yeah, that's still risky as well, though. That forest match is so risky, but if you you can space it well against Kirby and be successful with it. Oh, that was a very nice jab. Low was trying to drop through the plat, and the jab kind of pinned him there. Mm, I don't know about the single hook back air. He wanted well, maybe back air, back air, up air. Right? Yeah, that's what he wanted. Yeah. But you gotta, you know, he did a good job of reading the di and everything, and realizing that it wasn't gonna connect. Yeah, and backing off, right? What about the uh, the forward air, up air, um, up B combo? Does that oh, just yeah? I mean, up air, up B is kind of hard to get against Kirby if they're not DIing very well. I like doing forward air, down air. Yeah, oh, interesting. Forcing Kirby to recover from low is just great. Ooh. I don't know how that back air missed. Yeah, it was very close. K3's done a great job so far. And that's going to probably do yeah, it here. That's good. So the counter picking situation uh, works out very well for KD3. Yeah. And now, if he's in a situation where he can hold serve, this can be his first, if I'm not mistaken, his first tournament set win potentially on low, which would that's also crazy. put it at a, at a major or, you know, sort of regional. Which is uh, which is huge, as they're kind of weighted heavier, right, than sort of weeklies and monthlies. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is this is a good size regional, definitely more more prestigious than you know winning at the lab. Yeah, which is where I think they usually meet. Not to say the labs aren't terrific, venue. Right. No. Well, yeah. Actually, I haven't seen the new lab. They're a new building now. Oh, really? Interesting. Oh, and I thought maybe he could have upbeat. I think maybe he thought he was going to have the ledge cancel. But K3 will go up the stock here in uh, in this match, which is not does not bode well for Low, considering this is his counter pick. Yeah. Right now, you know. I actually thought we might see Low's Fox. Lowe's Fox is really good against Kirby, but yeah, KD3 is, uh, is, I think he's he's good at that matchup, but and he's good at taking advantage of matchups as well, and I know Lowe is just not feeling it today. He's not, like, looking to put himself in a, in a difficult position. 
I mean, for me, when uh, Kitty threw counterpick me with Kirby, I go Puff. Oh, yeah? That's because I don't have Pika. But, yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't mind it. It's a pretty boring matchup, but... Yeah, yeah. It's that very, very uh, air campy. The yeah. battle for air supremacy. Yeah, and I, the way I play, I don't even try to hide that that's what I'm doing. Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm just like, all right, I'm going to go up here now. I just don't do that, hence I lose or don't play the matchup. <laughs> Alright, you play Pika. Yeah. yeah Katie threw the two stock lead. The Falcon actually did better. So, one thing that Pikachu tends to do very well against Kirby is edge guard, and Lowe's done a very bad job of it. Finally, he's able to get a stock on the board. Mm. Interesting that he opted for that grab. After no, that. I thought he might up smash. Up smash. Grab's very safe though. Like, yeah, but you're giving Kirby back that first jump. You can't really follow up with much at that percentage either. Even an up tilt there. Interesting. That low turned around. I think it was just a little error there. He has Kirby off stage again. Misses with the down air. Kirby gets misses with the up air. Kirby gets the down air. Yeah, you got to be. Grab. You know, once you realize Kirby's making it back, you have to bait out those jumps. Up tilt. Thunder is not enough. No. 136%. Kirby's still alive. Ooh, and a miss Z cancel there. But Lowe isn't ready for that for it. Alright, and Lowe is right back in it. Yeah, after two straight stocks. Okay, here we go. Get set up, smash. No turnaround, though. No. What is it? A turnaround, weak nair, up air, up air, back air? Uh, like that? Turnaround, strong nair, strong nair, back air. Oh, wow, okay. Mm -hmm. Shows what I know about Pika. <laughs> uh, they can DI up, though, and then force you to have to do something else. And if the platform's there, you can strong air to the platform and then. Oh, yeah, reset I mean, a lot of. Up you know, not, that, not that nothing's guaranteed, but. It yeah, certainly exactly. is made harder by DI. K83 right there on a low retreat to that top plat. And the single up B to the side. Oh, and that's a good up B because that jab was being followed up by a fastball down air. And low falling for one of his own tricks there to push off the, the platform. K83 goes for that all the time. Yeah, that's almost Kirby. gets it there as well. He's. Yeah, and that's a trade low will take. So Lowe's right back in this. KD3, this is a huge game for KD, for, for both of them. Because, like you said, this was Lowe's counter pick. Yeah. He loses this. He's in a horrible position. Right. And, and KD3 uh, can just stay Kirby and cruise. Yeah, I guess there's, it's a much worse spot. Lowe's, it's more important for Lowe than yes. it is for KD3. Because if KD3 can pick, find a way to hold serve... <coughs> He's he can low right. finally get an edge guard. No, he up tilts too early. Gotta got count it. those jumps. Oh, and maybe he wanted a forward smash. That could have been it, potentially, if that dash attack's a forward smash. Yeah, probably was. Pivot away. Yeah, F read smash. the deck. Would have been KD3's first F smash I can remember this, this yeah. game. Yeah. Ooh, and... Oh, Again, and just too... Just, he was too slow with that up air. So he got poked by the down air. He had the right read. Oh, and KD3 is, is all over low. He's able to get some pokes here with those down airs. Ooh, that running plat drop Nair just pokes. Oh, and he's not ready to follow up. No, and he had a great opportunity because low went for the ledge cancel on the top line. He missed, but yeah. KD3 falling back air takes it. Back air was strong enough to uh, actually take that stop. Yeah. And low was at 127%, I believe. So. Oh, wow. Yeah, there wasn't much that wasn't going to finish him off there. One of these left. 
Um, no, I'm actually gonna go. I don't need candy. <laughs> oh, jeez. Commentator candy. Yeah, candy break. <laughs> so. <laughs> well, I'll take that thing. Yeah, shout out to our candy sponsor. <laughs> yeah, right? Oh, that'd be awesome, actually. Free for all! Sugar fueled uh, gaming sessions. Yeah, people must not like Skittles. There's tons of Skittles in here. Wow, he stayed Pika. I'm kind of disappointed. I wanted to see the fox. Same, but I think... Uh, that and that game was six minutes long. Yeah. I think he was scared of the wheels coming off the, the track totally there if he went fox, you know. And there's a lot of room for improvement. Um, KD3 won the neutral most of the time, even though... Yeah, if, if Lowe starts connecting with the edge guards, um, he wins this. He missed, like, all of them last game. Yeah. And it still came down to, you know, kind of la a last hit scenario. And you see Lowe kind of misses that dash initially, so he has to go for the re-grab on a 0% grab, which is kind of a big deal if you think you can potentially take a stock from that otherwise, you know. I gave KD3 such a hard time yesterday about chasing people with nares as Kirby instead of back airs. He was like playing uh, this Dark Gentleman, Jigglypuff. And he kept going for nair and he kept losing. Like he's back air. Kirby's, Kirby's back air hitbox is so obnoxious. Is it's huge and it reaches above him. Yeah. So he saw he saw Low trying to come down with like a down air or something on KD3 and he just throws out his back air and it it wins. It's such a dumb hitbox. KD3 is so fast to react um, off of like techs and things. Before Low tried to grab him on the platform after a tech, he dropped through the down air so quickly. I don't think he connected, but he was just able to escape trouble. And Low this time's another up air and gets hit with the down air. Uh, but that's not a, that's an edge guard that uh, that KD3 should have finished. He does end up getting the stock, but. He finally two. gets an edge guard. Battle of the teammates here, the, the team champions. Uh, let's see if he gets it here. So yeah, you need you want to turn around there, and if he's gonna, if you think he's gonna land on the platform, then fine. But yeah, wait for that up tilt. Yeah, weak nair to back air is exactly the right uh, choice in that situation. So like like we kind of predicted, low if he cleaned up his edge guards. We'll take this. No shield break, but this might be a little bit worse. Up B, he gets it. Wow. The Revan combo. Club it up, it just had a flashback. <laughs> PTSD. Oh, and that's a nice nair, but I think he thought maybe he was pushing him back toward the stage because he wasn't in position to follow it up. He really has KD3 in a spot here. He's been able to really convert on some of these punishes. Another one? <laughs> you want You always want to go for it. <laughs> yeah. It looked like he was close. But. I don't know how many jumps he has. There's not many. This should do it. Up smash. Yeah. There works also. Great DI on that F tilt, but it just kind of sets him in the nice little volleyball oh. stuff. Making this a game. And if Lowe stays Pika, KD3 is definitely going Falcon. Yeah. I think so. If KD3 really likes that matchup, he's good at it. Like, why not? I don't know if he and Hammerheart. So it looks like uh, Hammerheart's coaching KD3 and uh, Kiro's coaching Lowe. I don't know if they're discussing uh, strategy or if they're discussing character changes, but I would like to see a character change. But, you know. Uh, that might be Fox. me being, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The thing is, if, if Lowe goes Fox, I bet um, KD3 would have gone Pika. And he doesn't want that. Yeah. He'd rather, he'd rather have this. You know, and I think KD3's got to be pretty happy that he stole a game in the Kirby Pika matchup. So, I don't know, low fate. Low this, this matchup is supposed to be KD3's, like, sure thing. Really? You know, I, I think that's what he was kind of banking on Yeah. with his counter picks. He's like, if I just get to this point, like, I got it. Yeah, and you know, he, he's in a real great position because he potentially has two shots at it, right? Well, he does have two, two games, but um, there's that reversal that he, he looked for that down air. I think 
it was a while ago, like early in the spring or something when KD3 came up to Baltimore and played. I got him with that kind of stuff a bunch. I think I ruined it for people. Ooh. <laughs> You have to wait a couple of years for everyone to stop doing yeah. it. Yeah. Then I can do it again. It's too in vogue right now. Oh, and low ops to run under, get some better positioning. Oh. See, when, when like a Pika or whoever it's at a high percent like this, that's when I like to bust out the Falcon kick in neutral because it'll actually take the stock. Right. Because everyone just kind of like hops around, spaced out pretty far. And it's just a sneaky little attack. It gets people. Yeah, you really don't want to overdo it, but no, it, no. You know, obviously, if someone's ready for it. Oh, Falcon recovers. It shouldn't happen. <laughs> yeah, wow. So low looking, uh, looking very good. KD3 is having trouble hitting him in the neutral. Low's Pika better than Kiro's? What? <laughs> It would be fun to see a game five. Yeah, it would. I'm curious what. Oh man! If KD3 wins this and stays Falcon, I wonder if Lo would go Fox. Then we can see all their characters. Almost no puff. Yeah. No I jump from Pika. Ooh. Just missed the down air. Yeah. Oh, Didn't. nice shield jump. It was a wise move to use the nair after the up air right there for KD uh, for Lo rather. Because the knockback on the up air just wouldn't have been high enough. Low likes to go to that top, uh, that platform from the ledge. The side be, plat? Yeah, he's got to be careful not not being too predictable. Yeah, people definitely get into that habit. It's like Pika and Luigi, characters that can jump to the side plat off the ledge, they tend to do it a lot. Yeah, I mean, it, it's definitely a great option. That's it. That's unnecessary. Yeah, unnecessary roughness from Low. For a flag. So, there's no reason for Lotus Witch, right? I mean, no. Why would he? No, Lotus definitely not flipping. If that was KD3's answer to Pikachu, he's got to go back to Kirby. KD3 knows he can't go puff. And Low will probably do work on a Samus. Yeah, yeah, that's. I wonder how he feels about Pikachu. I think that Pika might Ditto. be the worst matchup in the game. Pika Samus? Pika Samus. I don't know. I don't. It's I, tough. I don't know. It's tough. Yeah. But, I mean, I've seen it done. Yeah. I mean, we've seen everything. Yeah. Yeah, we have. We've seen it all. <laughs> yep. Can't even surprise us with the triple anymore. No. Nope. Quadruples only. Yep. One quadruple per person. Three, two, one, go! So he sticks with it and. It's scary when you go into game five with a matchup that can just, like anything can happen. Yeah, like this. yeah, very true. And and even though he was he lost very decisively, he really wasn't connecting much. And no, he just he was missing things. Yeah, and if he connects, then the, those are stocks converted, uh, likely, right? I mean, at this level, a nice little delay there. That is what my new favorite thing to do: is either a no tech or a delay. Does it? Everyone just has it so burned into their brains, like the timing yeah. for all the tech chases. And when you throw that off, uh, they get lost. Of course, if you, sometimes if you don't tech, you just look dumb because then they follow yeah. up and kill you. But. So after that, that no tech situation, Low was kind of like, I'm sorry, KD3 was kind of right next to Low and didn't really do much. And Oh, good shield jump. Uh, nice reaction. Uh, yeah, yeah uh, when Pika up there is Falcon at low percent, he can act out, act out of it. And we just saw that with the Nair. Oof. Down there? Yeah. Low almost the eye that back onto the stage. Yeah. That was nuts. And we knew some DI was coming, right? But that, that would have been ridiculous. And maybe there's another situation where that no tech would have worked out. Yeah, and he can't fade back far enough to avoid no, that that, nair. that right there is Pikachu's answer to the fade back. That like slow, weak nair. Yeah, and it just sets you up for another big hit, which means Falcons, you know, he's not making it back. Oh, and he misses a Z cancel there. Low really came in with that approach and kind of had him spooked there. Oh, 
Oh, and that's not good for a KD3. You know, when he's landing these sort of things, he needs to finish those stocks. And luckily for him, he gets a second chance at it. And, you know, for a lot of stocks straight, it seemed like Lowe's had the advantage here, but he's on his tournament stock right now. Oh, regular get up against Pika at the ledge. So risky. Yeah, and now both players, this game match, the set rather, is down to the wire. Game five, last stock, 0-0. Zero, zero. Oh, and, and he, that. He misses the up smash, and he's off stage. KD3 recovers. He DIs into a ledge grab. That was such great DI, but. Tries to run in on low, gets knocked off. Low gets the F smash, and the edge guard. Low oh. with the huge set comeback. Wow, and that was such a close set. And KD3. KD3 wants some of those stocks back. Yeah, looking to fun.